What you're looking at is a monster from some bygone era. Run! Kong is such a huge part of the mythology of cinema, and it tells this incredible story of man versus nature. That's Kong. He's king around here. Kong is an icon of motion pictures. Since I was a kid, he was just the king of the monster movies. I don't know anybody that's ever seen one of those movies and hasn't been captivated. The exciting thing became, how do we tell a new story within that mythology? Kong is being reconceived as a myth come to life. Jordan came in with the idea of setting the movie in the early 1970s. It allowed for us to play with a bunch of characters coming out of the fog of the Vietnam War and going into this new, uncharted, dangerous place. Skull Island, the land where God did not finish creation. Monarch is an organization that's been tracking these creatures. They believe something else is on this island. I've been looking for this island for years, and so I put together an expedition. Now there's a man worth talking to. You came here looking for a tracker. Who or what am I tracking? Conrad is an expert who can lead ground expeditions on the surface of the island. He's a tracker, she's an anti-war photographer, and the two of them are kind of the lone ones. Mason Weaver is a woman. Last time I checked. Backer, General Ward. You and your boys up for one last stop? I would not be opposed to that, sir. We'll use explosives to shake the earth and create vibrations, helping us to map the subsurface of the island. You're dropping bombs. Scientific instruments. Combat formation. Let's do this. Is that a monkey? What the hell is that? Everything possible goes wrong. We get to this island and immediately are faced with things that no one could ever consider. Are you all right? I don't know how to answer that question right now. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody keep your wigs on now. What? Lieutenant Hank Marlow of the 45th. He's been on Skull Island for about 28 years. You've been here since World War II? I missed the parade. Look at that. Kong's God on the island, but the devils live below us. Kong is a threat, but the bigger threat are these things that Kong is fighting. And what are they called? And I call them skull crawlers. Why? Because it sounds neat. OK. Look, I just made that name up. I'm trying to scare you. I'm fine calling them that. Are you cool with that? Yeah, that, that seems like a good I like the name. Like... You are going to tell me everything I don't know, or I'm going to blow your head off. This planet doesn't belong to us. Ancient species owned this Earth long before mankind. Get us home with proof. Monsters exist. Kong is king, and yet he doesn't choose to use that power in a way that's harmful. He's not an animal, he's not a beast, he's a being. And he's just something that we don't understand yet. Well, you don't go into someone's house and start dropping bombs unless you're picking a fight. Kong is killing his men, so it becomes his mission. I became Ahab, he was my white whale. Pretty, huh? 
Jordan was very keen that Skull Island should be made up of places on this planet. We went all over the world to try and find places that you hadn't seen on screen before. It's a very specific world, but with all these different sort of environments all encompassed in one island. We've taken bits from Hawaii, Australia, and Vietnam. Vietnam in particular is very special because it's never been captured on film before in this way. This is the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. We're trying to get nature in its raw form and its wildness and show the diversity of the island. It really puts you in that world because you're not faking anything. You're really there and they've built these massive structures. They're going the extra mile with this one to really give us some dazzling visual imagery. It really is something to behold. This film will be an immersive spectacle. Audiences can definitely expect non-stop action. Kong Skull Island has things you haven't seen before. It, it takes you to a different world where things are beautiful and terrifying all at the same time. It's huge, and we're talking about one of the greatest myths of all time. A good group of boys. We're all gonna die together out here. <laughs> you shouldn't have come here.